Hello, this is Dr. Ford Brewer with uh, Heart Attack, Stroke, Cancer, Disability Prevention. Um, <clears throat> I had a patient the other day ask me about TMAO, trimethylamine oxidase. And yes, that is an important um, medication. Why don't we run through, or not medication, but issue regarding uh, cancer, heart attack, stroke. Why don't we run through some of the facts around that? But then I'd like to put it in perspective regarding the dangers. Actually, I'll do a spoiler and, and hit that issue now. This patient had oral glucose tolerance tests, uh, 150 for hour one and 100 and, uh, actually 165 for the first hour and 150s for the second hour. In other words, when you think about this patient, probably running blood glucose levels in the 150s and 160s, six hours a day, eight hours a day, depending on their, their eating pattern. Evidence it would indicate from talking with this patient that this had been going on for at least a decade. And neither the patient nor the doctor were worried about it, but the patient's worried about TMAO. So, again, TMAO is important, but it just underlines again that we have um, major problems with understanding the relative importance of our risk factors for heart attack, stroke, and cancer in this country. Um, again, this is a TMAO uh, video. I've done a, a previous one. This is just a, a follow-up on it and a reminder. <clears throat> TMAO comes from a, uh, the gut and what uh, bacteria in the gut do to components of our di diet. Um, it comes from carnitine, which you find in red meat, but it also comes from choline, which you find in eggs, milk, liver, and fish. So, <clears throat> um, what does TMA, uh, trimeth what does it stand for? Trimethylamine and the O stands for oxidase. These uh, chemicals have been linked to increased risk for heart attack, stroke, and even some cancers. So, should we limit carnitine and choline in our diet? Well, that is one of the major, at least biological, uh, prevention side recommendations for a plant-based diet. There are other reasons but that's one of the, the major recurring statements. Now, <clears throat> TMAO, uh, as I said, is far less of a risk for extremely high blood glucose levels. So I think, again, it starts to help us understand what type of diets are, are safest and um, best depending on our own metabolism. If we have a if we have problems with pre-diabetes and diabetes, then blood sugar is far more of a risk for us than red meat, fats, things like that. Can you actually do a low-carb, low, uh, plant-based diet? Yes, that's exactly what... Uh, um, there, there's a something beach. South Beach Diet is all about plant-based, low-carb. Um, well, what if you're vegan, but you, uh, you stay away from all that, you're young and you drink ener energy drinks. Energy drinks tend to have choline for sure, and some of them have carnitine. So, again, be careful what you, uh, what you take in terms of diet. What about, um, the reducitarian component of all of this? Well, yep, I understand. I haven't seen Cowspiracy, but I understand the concept, and I do want to see that movie. Uh, I do think that uh, cows, anything cow-related, cattle-related, is uh, very wasteful in terms of our environment. And I do think environmental issues are very valid in terms of uh, our diet. But uh, eggs, you know, chickens are not a reducitarian issue, I don't think. Um, Milk, maybe. Liver, maybe. Fish, clearly, in some, uh, in some uh, versions of it. So what are we to do? 
Uh, I think, again, first and foremost, if you're a baby boomer, look at your oral glucose tolerance tests. Make sure that you know what your uh, glucose metabolism is because we are all headed down that pathway, that diabetic uh, highway, the vast majority of us anyway, and that's far more dangerous for heart attack and stroke. What about TMAO and uh, carnitine? Yes, they're important. Plant-based is always better. Can you do low-carb and uh, plant-based? A lot of people say you can't. They say that uh, you can't get it's either low-carb or plant-based. You can't do both. Uh, there is some truth to that. You do tend to get a lot more carbs in a plant-based diet. However, you can get oils. You can get fats. And again, South Beach diet is all about that.